making a quick and easy supper dish, goat's cheese and red pepper lasagna, suitable for vegetarians or meat eaters alike. I'm using a jar of roasted red peppers and I'm just putting these onto some kitchen paper to drain the excess juices off. The portion I'm making is just for two people, so a small jar of peppers is fine. Meanwhile, I'm mixing together one egg, 100 ml of either creme fraiche or natural yoghurt, and 50 ml of milk. And then adding to that two tablespoonfuls of Parmesan cheese and salt and pepper to taste. I shall also be using about 150 grams of spinach. It can be either fresh or frozen, but needs to be pre-cooked and drained. If you're not going to use fresh lasagna, it needs to be soaked in hot water before putting the dish together. I'm going to put about a third of the mixture into the bottom of the dish. And then add a layer of pasta. Then we cover that layer of pasta with the red peppers, like so. And then crumble half of a 100 gram pack of goat's cheese across the top of the peppers. Then we repeat that procedure until all the ingredients are used. Reserving a little of the sauce mixture for the top. And then add a layer of spinach. Then follow that with another layer of lasagna. Another layer of red peppers. followed by a final layer of lasagna. The remaining half of the goat's cheese. And the rest of the mixture over the top, which we hope will completely cover the lasagna. And then it should be ready to go in the oven. That's almost ready to go in the oven now. We just want to sprinkle the top with a bit more Parmesan and it's ready to go in at gas mark five for 30 minutes. If you're using electric, that's 190 degrees centigrade. So while our lasagna is cooking in the oven, I'm going to prepare a green salad to accompany it. So into my green salad, I'm putting lettuce, diced green peppers, diced cucumber and diced string onion and a small handful of mustard and cress. To accompany the salad I'm going to do a fig and balsamic dressing. So into my little mini food processor which I'm sure many of you will have in your home I'm going to put a whole fig about a tablespoonful of virgin olive oil and about the same of balsamic vinegar. I'm going to give that a quick blitz and then taste it for seasoning. And that goes into a small dish to, for everybody to put their own on as they see fit. But before that, I'm going to add just a few chopped walnuts for texture. And if you're anything like me, you just can't resist the walnuts. So the salad and the dressing are prepared and the lasagna is just finishing off cooking. So I've just got time for a quick drink. Cheers. The lasagna is cooked now, so I'm bringing it to the table so we can enjoy it with our lovely salad and dressing. enjoyed watching it and I do hope you'll have a try at this even if you don't normally eat vegetarian sort of food because it's absolutely delicious. Thanks for watching, see you next time.